What we usually call cancer is, in reality, a group of more than 200 different diseases that affect people. What these diseases have in common is that they involve an irregular growth of different cell types within the body. It is estimated that in developed countries, the risk of cancer throughout life is 30% amongst men and 22% amongst women. This percentage is increasing due to the ageing of the population. In general, greater longevity means a higher probability of suffering an illness of this sort, which is also related to poor eating habits and tobacco smoking. In fact, cancer is now the second leading cause of death in Europe. In 2000, there were more than 6.2 million cancer-related deaths in the world. The World Health Organization forecasts that it will rise to 15 million by 2020. In Europe, there are 3 million new patients each year and 1.7 million deaths. Survival rates and cure rates are increasing due to advances in the study of different cancers and the implementation of innovative treatments, treatments that improve things for patients. Radiation therapy uses high energy radiation to kill cancer cells. X-ray teletherapy treatments are the most common. These treatments have the disadvantage that their application for outside affects non-cancerous cells as well the challenge, therefore, is to avoid these negative effects while administering the ordered dose to the tumorous tissue. Administering the prescribed radiation to the tumor requires complex calculations for each patient, thus creating a personalized treatment. There are four major variables that must be defined correctly. The x-rays must come from various angles, the radiation to be received from each angle, the focus of the x-rays, the organs and tissues whose integrity might be compromised by exposure to radiation. Given the complexity of the problem, each personalized treatment in hospital is calculated using computer simulations. However, in many situations, it is necessary to verify the results of these simulations for each patient before treatment can begin. Currently, verification of radiation teletherapy treatment is carried out using a physical model in a patient would, while blocking the possibility of treating a real patient. However, there is a more efficient alternative based on the virtual simulation of treatment. In this way, the use of equipment, materials and highly trained professionals to treat the affected population could be optimised. To perform a radiation treatment simulation on a single computer or CPU, would require more than 100 hours. That's over four days of continuously processing data. Fortunately, these simulations can be run in parallel, meaning that a computing task can be easily split into multiple CPUs that work simultaneously, reducing the number of hours necessary to obtain results. Thus, a treatment that on a single CPU would take 100 hours could be calculated in just one or two. Radiophysicists need results fast and within a time limit, which means that the computing equipment to run the simulations must be available when needed. This is why we propose the cloud computing paradigm as the most appropriate for running simulations for verification purposes. But before a cloud computing based solution is launched onto the market, it is important to know how it will respond to ensure the best possible service to hospitals. Bonfire provides the infrastructure to experiment with possible technological options. To ensure a timely solution, the EIMRT service assigns a custom-built virtual infrastructure for each treatment to be simulated, ensuring that the response time is not affected by the requests made by other hospitals. This dedicated infrastructure consists of a set of virtualized computers or virtual cluster that will run on the physical infrastructure of a cloud provider. However, should the cloud provider not be able to offer the required capacity at any given time, the system would allow resources from multiple cloud providers to be distributed amongst the virtual computers. Thanks to the elasticity of cloud environments, 
it is possible to control the execution of the treatment simulation to add more virtual machines to the cluster if necessary and return the result at the time initially set by the radio physicist. There is always the risk that the physical infrastructure of a cloud provider fails, as happened in the summer of 2012, with two main players in the world cloud market. If the hospital must have the results on a given day, EIMRT offers a fault-tolerant solution, using multiple cloud providers, so that if one fails, the simulation proceeds normally, running the personalised treatment on another provider infrastructure and readjusting its performance using elasticity. Thus, using the EIMRT verification service when a hospital needs results fast, guarantees that the service will be completed as it can be carried out at multiple sites with a fault-tolerant configuration. The application is ready and we have proven that it works using Bonfire Cloud Infrastructure. With Bonfire, we can say that it is possible to use Federated Cloud Infrastructure to create a stable platform serving European hospitals with high quality service. Although the population affected by cancer continues to grow, improvements in prevention, diagnosis and treatment have made cancer mortality decrease significantly. In fact, in recent decades, survival rates with a good quality of life have increased steadily. Radiotherapy plays an important role in these achievements. Therefore, it is essential to optimise the use of radiotherapy resources at European hospitals. With Bonfire, we have demonstrated that large European computing infrastructures under federated cloud platforms can contribute in a meaningful way to this optimization and thus to a better quality of life for European citizens.